Git p4 under Sigwin, submit fails with patch does not apply. I'm attempting to use git p4 under Sigwin. The clone and rebase parts of the workflow appear to be working correctly, but I am unable to submit. I'm guessing it may have something to do with a line ending convention. I've looked at this git p4 issue and its linked items, but manipulations of line ending and whitespace configuration are so far unsuccessful. Items of note in my configuration. 1. I'm using the bash shell function trick to get paths to work correctly. Two, I've tried all settings for Git's autocorf value. Result is failure regardless of true, false, input. Currently attempting false as that makes the most sense when diffing against the depot. Three, I've also played with the P4 client specs linear end values. Currently attempting Unix, BC of Sigwin and the P4 sandbox server running under OS. The test is simple. The repo contains one file, foo1. The depot version looks like output using odc. The locally git committed version looks like. I've added some additional diagnostic output to the apply commit method in git p4. That in conjunction with running submit using verbose. Note the sanity, diagnostic line. This is the value of trip hatchcom that fails within the apply commit method. If I execute the first part of the statement at the bash command line, I see. Piping this to the second part of the command results in no error. I am perplexed as to why the command fails when executed using os.system in the Python script but succeeds otherwise. Thoughts? I believe I've solved this. The problem was twofold. First cardinal sin, not reading the manual carefully. The documentation in the submit section states, Submitting changes from a Git repository back to the P4 repository requires a separate P4 client workspace. This should be specified using the P4 client environment variable or the Git configuration variable git p4.client. The P4 client must exist, but the client root will be created and populated if it does not already exist. It took some time to get this through my head that this actually meant two physical working copies, one for Git, one for P4. The Git P4 script was choking on trying to perform Git and P4 operations in the same folder, and such in place operations don't play well with Perforce's checkout model. I discovered this by performing the same test workflow on a Mac, which erred, more clearly, with cannot clobber writable file. By twiddling clobber in the P4 client spec I was able to get the submit in both Mac and Sigwin to work, and that put me on the right trail. There's a detailed walkthrough on setting up the dual workspace structure at this Perforce page. Second, interestingly, I still appear to require ignore whitespace as part of the git apply logic in the Sigwin environment. That's a git P4 hack I am willing to live with. 